Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Super here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix error code 279 on Roblox for mobile and PC. And I'm going to show you different ways on how to fix that problem because there's many things that can cause the error code 279 to happen. So this video goes out to Tommy212. Do you know how to fix error code 279? Please send me a video on how to do that on mobile. So I'm going to show you guys how to do both. So first of all, I want to make sure you guys go ahead and restart your device, whether it's PC or mobile. Try restarting your device. And if that doesn't work try to make sure that if you have an antivirus you let roblox be allowed with the antivirus because the antivirus could mess some things up also you want to make sure you disable your ad blocker which would probably be on computer so you can check your extensions there and if you had ad blocker uh enabled make sure that it's disabled while you're playing roblox that way it doesn't cause any interference whatsoever also if none of those things get rid of error code 279 also make sure you have a stable internet connection or mobile data connection and uh you know you could always just disable connect from your wi-fi and then reconnect if that helps you possibly all right so after doing that stuff how to fix the error code on mobile if those things didn't work is you want to go ahead and restart your phone if you have android device you want to go ahead and just do a hard reset where you power the phone all the way off and then turn it all the way back on hopefully that should do it and then when it comes to ios for iphones and stuff all you have to do is go ahead and go into airplane mode enable that and then disable it or you can just restart your phone as well and that should clear the catchy or whatever so this should pretty much help all mobile users go to the error code 279 but if it doesn't just wait till further into the video i'm not going to go over how to fix this on the pc so once you're on your computer you want to go ahead and search up cmds which stands for commands go ahead and search that up and you're going to find the command prompt go ahead and right click on that and run as administrator okay and after you let it do that you want to go ahead and type in this code you're going to type in ip config which is just copy exactly what i typed in on the screen here then you do slash rush dns okay and then after you you type that in, go ahead and just press the enter button all right and after that it should say it successfully cleared the dns catch okay and then after doing that you're going to type in another code which is going to be net sh windsock reset okay and then enter that in and then it's going to say you successfully reset the windsock catalog okay and uh, that's pretty much all we got to do here. Now, the last thing we can do is just go ahead and exit. So we just type in exit on the screen here and it'll let us out and just press enter. And that's pretty much how you do that. Now you want to go ahead and type in network connections. You're going to view network connections. Okay. Now you want to go ahead and go to your Wi-Fi, which is the one that's on a red X. Okay. And once you get in here, you're going to see the Wi-Fi status. You're going to go down to properties. Okay. Which is going to be near the bottom. Okay. And once you click on that, you're going to go ahead and look for internet protocol version four in the Wi-Fi properties. Okay. So go ahead and click on that and then you want to go ahead and click on properties for that and then you want to go ahead and switch to use the following dns server addresses okay in the preferred dns server you want to type in one and go to the next column go one 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 and then on the bottom one for the alternate dns server you want to go ahead and type in one zero zero one and then after you're done with that you can just go ahead and press ok and it'll save that but i'm not actually going to save it since i don't actually need to do this but that's pretty much how you fix that on the computer and that should 100 percent work at least it should so after this if it still doesn't work i would go ahead and reset your internet router and that should get rid of the arrow code 279 and if you continue to have problems you can go ahead and check the link which will be in the description below it's a page that shows you how to get rid of the error code 279 and it shows it for every single kind of device and everything and gets in the full detail and how to fix it there's many different ways that this error code can be caused and that's why this is such a big deal and that's why you have to go and try different things things there's so many different things that could affect your roblox thing not to work and use the error code 279 so i really hope this video helped you out guys if it did make sure you go ahead and consider subscribing to the channel and smashing the like button to show some support and make sure to join the Brute fans group on roblox for a ten dollar roblox gift card giveaway which will be every week on a friday a random person in the group will be picked and uh, until next time, goodbye.